So today I'm going to be doing something that I have not done before, and I just, I don't know, sort of randomly came up with this idea. So, yeah, I'm basically going to be doing a auto fantasy draft in season mode and an auto fantasy draft in franchise mode, and we're going to see which one ends up doing better in the first year. So, let's get to it. I haven't opened up season mode in what seems like a very long time, so yeah, this is interesting. Roster control... Uh, full control, sure. Fantasy draft on. CPU trade, sure. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be making any trades. It also doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. So, hmm, who do I pick? Let's go with... Hmm? Just because they are the team I'm on and be a pro, we're going to pick Florida. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here. Fantasy draft is in fact on. Which pick are we going to get? I'm once again going to go with the 11 to 13 range. So I'm going to go with 11. That's just my gut instinct here, but I was way off. All right. That also could determine the team that gets drafted. I also definitely feel like one of them is not going to make the playoffs, potentially both, but I guess we'll find out here. So let's simulate the entire draft and let's, let's see what kind of team this game picks for us in the season mode. Fantasy draft is complete. All right, so we got Braden Point and Barzell. Decent. We got Kincaid, I see there. Alex Tuck, Ilya Samsonov, Yamamoto. All right. I don't know, guys. I don't think I have a lot of faith in this team considering we got Peyton Krebs and then Joe Valeno there as well. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, boy. What are you doing? This draft. All right, well, here's our team. Our first line's all right. Defense. Are you kidding? I am never doing an auto draft again. What is this? All right, prepare to win one game all year, boys. Well, on that note, enough said. Let's just simulate and watch how this unfolds. But I can only imagine that it does not unfold very well. If we even finish with the same amount of regulation losses as we do wins, I'll be very impressed. But I don't even think that's going to happen. Wow, that simulation was really quick. Holy crap. All right, well, we did not make the playoffs. I'll tell you that for free. This team did miserable, as expected. The St. Louis Blues are your Stanley Cup champions. Anyways, that was sort of expected. Pointer put up 66 points in 82 games, which I, you know, I guess all things considered is really not that bad. And St. Louis had Tyler Sagan. They had Kuz... No, sorry. This is the entire league. Never mind. This is just playoff points. So it's not exactly what I wanted. There's got to be another stats here somewhere, right? I think. Or nah? I guess. Oh, here. Yeah, it's this one. Found it. Anyway. So, yeah. 66 points from Pointer. Uh, I don't know, man. What a miserable auto draft. Is that really the kind of stuff it does? We're going to find out in franchise mode, but I hope the franchise one's a little bit better. Right now, you know, that's not very hard to compete with that franchise. So, if you end up letting us down here, then that's going to be very disappointing. All right. Let's just go the entire league. And then we can go to St. Louis. But yeah, here is... Oh, I guess McDavid ended back up on the Oilers. They didn't want to let him go. And Kane ended up back on Chicago. All right, interesting. So let's go to St. Louis and just see what their roster consisted of. And there they are. All right, I definitely should have went the other way. That would have been much faster. Wow, they had Ranton, but he only put up 67 points. Sagan with 66. Saad is up there. But yeah, you can just tell this team is... A lot better than ours on paper and definitely in action as well. In net, they had Freddie Anderson and Bernier. Okay, well, yeah, sort of expected. Here's the trophies. I'll just go through these real quick, even though they're not really relevant, honestly. Dry Settle with the Art Ross, Pedersen with the Hart, James Norris goes to Pi Trangelo, Cooch with the Lady Bing, Calder goes to Lafreniere, Sagan with the Con Smythe, Allmark with the Vesna Jennings to Binnington. I really. Hi, hey, yuck. Hajek, I have no idea how to pronounce that guy's last name, but anyway. Bill Masterton, Selkie goes to O'Reilly, Petterson gets the Ted Lindsay, and Patty Kane with the Rocky Richard. All right, let's head over to franchise mode, and let's hope that it's better than this one. Oh, one last thing, just in case anyone wanted to see the playoff tree. There it is. It's, I, I re didn't look at any other team, so it really doesn't matter, but I just feel the need to show it. So 31 wins is the mark to beat. If it can't do that, I am going to be amazed. All right, franchise mode. We can sort of randomize it here and we get... I'm going to hold it for a little bit longer this time. We get, boom, San Jose. All right, I feel like that's not really a team we land on very often at all. So that's good. And yep, they are 
right there. Owner mode off, fantasy draft on, head coach edit lines, no, player morale, but we'll turn off the meetings. Okay, everything should be good. So let's do those rules real quick. Hopefully we'll get a better draft position as well. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe 28 or 29, whatever it was, isn't the move. So hopefully we can get a better pick and see what we could do. That might even be another video idea. See, you know, if we end up picking a better team with the very first pick in the draft or the very last pick in the draft. So that could also be interesting. Either way, let's go ahead, start the draft. We got pick number nine, so it is a higher pick. But let's just see what the computer auto drafts because I have not done a sim draft in quite a while. This is taking a while here. Kind of surprised, but anyway. Yeah, the simulation is also going to be a lot slower because it's franchise mode and not season mode. The season mode simulation is just an absolute flash. Like, it goes by so quick. And here we go. Fantasy draft is now complete. We got Eichel as our first pick, Sergachev. Nico, all right, this team already looks a lot better, but let's put them in action and see because after that first column there, it really kind of goes downhill, but we'll see. All right, this is just your friendly reminder that the auto draft feature in this game is horrendous because what what's going on here? Like, what what is this team? I guess we have some kind of young guys here, like, yeah, medium top nine, and then we have Kaliev as well, who's medium top six, so I don't know, but... Yeah, the team, probably not going to do very good if I had to guess. I think they might get more than 31 wins, but I'm certainly not guaranteeing that. And in net, we have Ranta and Sorokin. All right, well, I I don't know. Let's just see where this one takes us. Will we make the playoffs? Highly unlikely. Will we get 31 wins? Probably. I sort of understand it a bit more in this game, in the sen or sorry, this mode, in the sense that, you know, franchise, you kind of want to plan for the future because... There's a lot to consider, but in season mode, doesn't make any sense. You want to win that year, so you might as well just pick all the best players you can. And I'm pretty sure there's no salary cap. Tons of time to collapse here, but this team is already doing all right, which, I mean, blows my mind considering some of the drafts I've had that have done miserable. I don't get it. Coming up to the trade deadline here, and we already have 31 wins. So it's, well, there we go. We passed it. We have officially done better than the season mode already, and we are just getting to the trade deadline. So, I guess the fantasy draft definitely worked better in franchise mode, but now I'm kind of curious if I did, like I said, a draft where I do the first overall pick and a draft where I do the third overall pick, which team ends up doing better. But regardless, let's keep the trading block the same, and let's enter the trade deadline just to see who's on the block out of pure curiosity. We got Grubauer, Falk, Zuccarello, Vlasic, Getzlav... All right, Hank, and yeah, pretty good. There's some good players on the block here. Edmonton acquires a first, Forster, and a fourth in exchange for Falk and Zucker. All right, there's your blockbuster trade of the simulation, apparently. Oh yeah, here it goes. The post-trade deadline collapse, baby. You love to see it. We are off to a steaming hot start here. Okay, we got a win. That's nice. There's another one. Yes, fire me up. Keep losing. Keep losing. Oh no, we got a win. What are we doing? There's an overtime. That's one point. I mean, we already did better in the season, so it doesn't even matter. But regardless, I just find it funny how usually after the trade deadline, you could either go like this or you could go like this for no reason. I need to make any moves. This one's actually surprisingly been kind of normal. So that's a first, actually. And we clinched a playoff spot. We are in the playoffs with this team. So the auto draft franchise knows what it's doing. It's actually stopped the simulation. So I want to go see if anyone, like, went up drastically in overall. Kaliev's at 78, so not really. That Bemstrom guy's at 79. Thomas, I think he was already an 84. Uh, I think this is pretty much the same. I don't really think anyone's gone up in overall too dramatically. Well, Sergachev went up one, I think. I think Pionk maybe. Sorry. Pionk went up one as well, possibly. And yeah. All right. Well, either way. Solid. The team did good. We're in the playoffs here, but let's go look at some stats and see who did what. So Calgary won the Pacific with 100 points, but if we go to the entire league, Carolina going to be the President's Trophy winners. 113 points, 54 wins. So yeah, let's go check out who's on their roster real quick. And just scrolling down here. Oh, it wasn't the top 16. Tampa snuck in at 18 with 88 points. Disrespectful. But anyway, Let's go have a look at the team of Carolina. So first and foremost, we had Eichel with 87 points. Guy went off, so good for him. And then 
Pionk put up 69. We got Konechny with 65. And, whoa, Sergachev a plus 22. That's good stuff. And down here, all right. Great job, Sir Josh. I don't even think, I, didn't we have someone more than Dash 19? No, he is the worst by far there. In net, our goalies did okay. They didn't do great, but they did okay. And we have to check out Carolina, and then we'll go to the entire league. So let's check out the Hurricanes here, Varlamov and Jim Reimer. And then if we go to all skaters, we've got Malkin with 114, Besser with 112, Tatar with 78, William Carlson. Yeah, they have a very good team. No wonder they won it. Wow. They drafted one heck of a hockey club. They got the better 3-4. Man, look at them go. And if we go to wrong one, the entire league, I'm assuming Malkin probably won the Art Ross. Yeah, Besser's right there as well. Ranton is up there with 107, Patty Kane. All right, there you go. Buchnevich, let's go. It is time for the playoffs. Let's see if we can make it past round one. If we can, this is a mega success because that normally doesn't happen. But you know what? Actually, I take that back. It's sort of been happening recently. We were a first round exit for a while there, but I think it's sort of time to admit that we've been doing all right in round one somewhat recently. But let's see how it goes here. We are down. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we... Won the first game and then got destroyed by the Yotes, but it is what it is. I'm just impressed that we were able to make it to the playoffs and in such a convincing fashion as well with this team. I wasn't ready for that. Carolina ended up winning the cup. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Their team was ridiculous when we looked at their roster. So yeah, that's that's not shocking at all. But let's go have a look at the awards and such anyway. Sergachev putting up point a game in the playoffs. Attaboy. Proud of you. Awards. Here we go. Carolina... And the Presidents, Calgary, gets the finals matchup against Carolina there. And wins the only team trophy that Carolina couldn't, <laughs> basically. Art Ross goes to Malkin. Hart Memorial to Malkin. OEL gets the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Cooch. Kaprizov, Kirill the Thrill with the Con... Or, sorry, the Calder. Con Smythe goes to Tomas Tata. Vesna goes to Markstrom. So does the Jennings. Masterton goes to Dylan. Morris with the Adams. Barkov. With the Selkie, Malkin with the Lindsay, and the Maurice Rocket Richard. He cleaned up house this year. All right, well, here's the playoff tree. So that is that. The auto draft in franchise mode absolutely destroyed season mode. But let me know if you want me to try again and set a specific pick for them, you know, so they each get the same pick. So there's no excuse there about a later versus an earlier pick. So if you want to see a rematch in that sense, let me know. And if you want to see a draft, either auto draft or me doing a draft where I try doing the 31st pick and I try doing the first pick and see which team could do better. Yeah, we could do that as well. So go ahead, leave the comments down below. And yeah, that's about it. Leave a like if you could, that'd be sick. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon.